Hi, this is Craig from Charlestown Hypnotherapy. Now I've had a lot of clients ask me, what's the best way to meditate? So I thought I'd make this simple video series to enable people to learn how to meditate. Some easy steps. Meditation can be extremely simple, but people just seem to want to overcomplicate the process. The basic idea of meditation is simple. Every time your mind begins to shift its spotlight away from your breath and you get lost in thought, you simply bring your attention back to your breath or whatever it is you're focusing on. And then you repeat this again and again until your meditation is over. You can time it if you wish. And the point is that every time you bring your attention back to your breath, you learn to stop overthinking and begin to zone out or to focus on your meditation, whatever you wish to do. Then over time, your focus, concentration and attention span improve in addition to all the other benefits that meditation gives you. If you intend to sit for your meditation, then all you need to do is to find a comfortable chair or a pillow. Again, it doesn't need to be complicated. It's better if you don't fall asleep, so lying is probably not the best idea. You can use a timer if you wish, and then you can try to extend the time, the length of each meditation as you progress. Some people like to practice before going to bed or as soon as they wake up in the morning. The biggest thing to remember is to keep your back straight. Keep your back erect if you're in a chair. And it's best not to rest back on the back of the chair. Just keep yourself nice and straight and comfortable. This keeps you alert and allows you to concentrate more easily on your breath. Your eyes can either be closed or open. Again, the goal of this whole meditation thing is to work at increasing your attention at doing nothing, learning to let go and to relax. If you find you'll concentrate better on your breath with your eyes closed, as many people do then, it's probably best to keep them closed. If you're tired and you find yourself beginning to doze off when you close your eyes, then maybe you should keep them open. Again, there's no rules, just do whatever works for you. Don't worry about your hands, you can rest them wherever they feel comfortable. Cross your legs if you want, if you're sitting on a pillow or on the floor. If you're in a chair, it might be best just to rest your feet on the floor and keep them straight. You can look slightly down, even if your eyes are closed. This just seems to open up your chest a little bit more. Again, though, find a place that's comfortable, one that keeps you upright and opens up your chest at the same time. The biggest point I can make about how to sit is to find a pose and a posture that's both comfortable and keeps you upright. What to do next? You dim the lights a little bit or shut them off completely, however you feel you can focus better. Get comfortable, start the timer if you're using one, and begin to focus your attention, focus on your breath. This is what meditation is all about. And this is what makes meditation both difficult and worthwhile. You can breathe through your nose or your mouth, whatever is better for you. You can focus on any element of your breath that you want. You can focus on how the air enters and exits your nose, or how the air feels as you inflate and deflate your lungs, to the sensation under your nose as you breathe in and out, to the sound that you make while you breathe. Don't force your breathing, just breathe naturally and observe your breath without thinking too much about it. Don't think this is the hard part. Don't analyze your breath. Just bring your attention and focus to your breath and think about it, but not about analyzing it.
Bring your attention back to your mind when it wanders. And it will. I've been meditating for years, for 30 minutes a day, and my mind still wanders sometimes. And when your mind wanders, and it will, gently bring your attention back to your breath once again and realise that your mind has wandered. You may not clue in at first that your mind started to think again, but then when you do, you just gently bring it back. Don't be hard on yourself during this stage. Just gently bring your attention back or focus on letting those thoughts begin to drift away. Some people imagine them drifting away like clouds. Again, just whenever that mind wanders, just bring it back. When you begin to think, just let it go. And when your mind begins to think about how boring meditation is, gently bring that attention back to your breath. When your mind becomes restless, again, just bring that attention back. And keep doing this until your meditation timer sounds, if you're using one, and then simply repeat the process the next day. Meditating for 10 minutes a day is definitely much better. It has been proven to be better than meditating for 70 minutes, for example, once a week. Try to meditate frequently every day if possible, even if it's only a few minutes. Start small. If you try to meditate for 30 minutes right from the start, I can almost guarantee that you will get frustrated and discouraged. I, re I recommend starting with a few minutes a day and only increasing the time when you're comfortable with what you've achieved. Meditate in a quiet place. Having less distractions around you will naturally allow you to concentrate better and it'll make your meditation much more productive. If you can't concentrate, try counting, counting your breaths until you reach five and then starting over again, for example. Just remember to take it easy on yourself, relax and start small. There is no right or wrong way. Just do whatever you think. Be grateful and proud of yourself when you can start to meditate and start to clear that mind. That ends the basic outline of meditation. Thank you.